Hey, what's up everyone? Kevin Oak here. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video kind of explaining one of the ways to bridge between cycles. Whether whether you're coming off of like just doing a competition or you just peaked your squad in training in general, you're not competing, but now you want to go into your next phase, you're not sure what to do. Um, one of the things I do is I do speed squats on SSBs. I do them usually with, I'll usually start the first week somewhere around like 75%. Or 70 to 80 percent anywhere in that range and i'll do anywhere from five to seven sets of triples with very short rest time usually like two to three minutes in between um what this kind of does for me is it resets my squat it kind of deloads it while i'm still getting work in so it helps to do these whether it's usually like coming off of a comp i just competed about a month ago and then i took three weeks off and then I started doing SSB squats. Um, it helps now for me especially because I'm not competing for another four months. So rather than jumping right back into doing you know, low bar squats or competition squats and trying to build up the whole period from now all the way through the competition, what I'll do is I'll do these for a while. It'll kind of help with, um, it helps me just because I'm kind of like a fast twitch person. So it helps me to do squats where I'm just focusing on moving the bar fast, not necessarily focusing on overall weight. It's just not really necessary for me, especially this far out from the meet. So I'll do these because they feel good. I'm still getting working, but I'm not getting burnt out. It's not doing much to my CNS, but I'm still definitely getting the working on my legs. I'm definitely getting sore, although I still feel very recovered. So it helps for those reasons. It also helps because right now I'm in a phase where I'm really trying to push my deadlift. And I'm doing a lot of volume on my deadlift, so it's much better for me not to kill myself as much on my squat days. So I can kind of save it for my deadlift days. So that's kind of how I just tend to bridge between my cycles, whether I just peaked and I didn't compete, or if I'm coming off a competition and I kind of need something to fill like a five, six week time period before I start building up my squat again. So. In this workout, I just worked up to, it was like 480-ish for five sets of three. Like I said, with short rest, felt good. They moved well. Um, after that, I just got into seated good mornings, which you'll see later. I went a little heavier in these since I didn't go very heavy on squats. I want to kind of push these. I like pushing my accessory work a little more when I can do more volume in the off season. So I can try to focus right now um, on just kind of building a little strength. Um, I feel like my upper back, funny enough, most people probably wouldn't agree with me, but I feel like my upper back, just I haven't really pushed my strength there enough lately, so the seated good mornings kind of work your mid to upper back a lot, which I use as a squat accessory because what it helps you do is it helps you stay more upright when you're doing a squat. So a lot of the things I'm doing right now, in general, just pretty much preparing me for um, when I squat at the USPA, US Open in April, because it's a walked out meet, that variable adds a lot to a heavy squat. Um, not really so much when you're doing like lower weight squats, when you're squatting, you know, when I was squatting six, 700 pounds, walking out was nothing. You know what I mean? But I'm hopefully going for like 900 pounds or, you know, 410 kgs for people that use kilograms. So when you get up to that weight, <laughs> things tend to change a lot. Walking out the weight gets a lot harder. Everything gets more difficult to squat in itself. Um, so right now what I'm trying to do is just prepare to be able to even just hold that weight and walk it out. Because that in itself may possibly be harder than the actual squat itself. So the seated good mornings help with that a lot. With keeping upper back tightness. And being able to just kind of get used to that load of weight on you. So I'm doing those. Um, you see I do the, the 45 degree back extensions. I didn't do them today, but that's just one of the things I did. Um, after seeing good mornings, I did a couple sets with um, with the axle bar or an underhand rose, which killed my forearms. I was actually very surprised. I haven't done those in a while, but it was great. I need to actually focus on my grip more because I've been having some tightness issues with my forearm. So I only got like two sets in on tape of the of the underhand axle bar rows, but I think I did like five sets or so. Um, this time I just did it without straps, just to purely work grip. Going forward, I'll probably do a couple sets without straps to work my grip, and then I'll use straps so I can actually go heavy enough to where I'm actually hitting my back much harder. But they were great. Did some pull-ups as well. 
so I'm really just focusing on upper back. Um, I also did some, um, what's it called? Not the glued ham raise, the other one. I forget what it's called right now, but I did some of those. Um, I did hamstring curls, so it was a good workout overall. Got some work in Wednesday. I'll be um, just going back up to SMG power lifting to do some more of the duffel bar bench press and behind the neck press, go through that workout. And then Thursday, I'll actually be going out to New Mexico to hang out with the Mastetics guys and Larry Wheels. They're doing, um, they have a meet at their gym that they train at, and then I think me and Larry could do some lifts after. Probably just typical training. I'm probably gonna deadlift, maybe squat, but probably do deadlifts. I'm not sure what Larry's doing yet, but it uh, should be fun. I'll post that info probably. I'll have it up on Instagram. I think it's on Larry's already, and I think it's on some of the Mastetics guys. But um, other than that, training's going well so far. Feeling good. Slowly getting my body weight up. I was up to, I think, 242 the other day. I haven't really weighed myself since, but I'm trying to work up to like 255, 260-ish by April. So, yeah. Things are looking good. Training hard. Until next time.